Hey everybody, it's Dee from Martin Tarot by Dee. I am going to do a VR to Heather Carter. She did a topic called Top 5 Witchy Films. And so I wanted to definitely do a VR to that because I love me some witchy films. Um, I think I have one obvious one on there that's probably a lot of people's favorite and it was just more of a comedy but I'm gonna save my favorite one for last and I'm just gonna go into the other four don't really have I like them all equally you know there's no particular order okay <laughs> so the first one is Kubo and the two strings this is an animated feature film from like 2016 super cute witchy kind of dark he has a little guitar it's not called a guitar but anyway um he's trying to save his family it's cute and it's not disney so this is probably the only well no it's not the only disney non-disney film on my list but um yeah it's a really really cute film and it's kubo and the two strings that's one of the ones that i think uh are in my top five and um, another one in my top five is Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. I love, love, love Angela Lansbury. Um, I was really small when I saw this and I thought it was pretty funny actually. But uh, she's, I was so obsessed with her after watching this that. Um, I've continued to watch everything she ever did in her entire career because she's, she was amazing. And that was originally made in 1971 and that was, oh, and you know, she's called Dame Angela Lansbury, by the way. But anyway, that was made by Disney. Hmm. Disney. The next one is the more obvious one. Like I said, Hocus Pocus. And it's a great film. It's comedic to me. It's, it's a funny, quirky one um, in 1993 and Disney. But anytime a movie has Bette Midler and Penny Marshall, I'm on it. I love that video. Um, I talked about that, or I'm sorry, that movie. I talked about that movie in my other witchy video that I did. Um, it's a great, great film. Super awesome. The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. A lot of people may not consider the things on my list like witchy movies, but they're totally witchy to me. They're totally magical to me. And hello, this is another Disney. <laughs> you can also tell I have kids, right? <laughs> but yes, that movie is so enchanting and so magical. And graphics were great at the time. I think that came out in 2005. Yeah, so the most current thing on my list is the Kubo, but everything else is really, um, not really old, but 2000, they only have two in the 2000s, so anyway, yeah, so that one's really great, the Chronicles of Narnia, the book series are really great, um, trying to get my daughter to read them, she's seen the movies, she was kind of little, so I don't know if she remembers them, but yeah, it's a really great movie, I love it. Honorable mentions that I thought about putting on my list. Oh, and the Chronicles of Narnia is Disney. But anyway, the honorable mentions uh, that I thought about putting on my list were Cinderella and the original Mary Poppins. Not the new Mary Poppins. I hated that movie. I hated the way they remade it. Um, ugh, it was so awful. Like when we went and saw it, I wanted to get right back up and leave after, you know, 20 minutes in. But anyway... The original Mary Poppins and Cinderella, I think, are very witchy and very magical. Also by Disney. I want to know, and I said this in my last witchy video, I want to know what Disney's fascination is. Obviously, he loved, Walt Disney loved magic, but did he also have a fascination with witches? It appears so to me. Um, and Willow. If anybody saw that movie with Val Kilmer in 1988, first of all, Val Kilmer, okay, um, it was amazing. <laughs> I love that movie. 
Um, and now on to my number one movie. Number one movie is I Married a Witch. This is a very old black and white film, like old. And it's based on a book called The Passionate Witch. Now, I have not read that book. I would love to read that book. I can't find it. Maybe I'll Amazon, Amazon it, but I have looked at the library and bookstores and things like that, and nobody has that book. So, But at the very end of the movie, she says, love is stronger than witching, and I just love that line. Um, it's, it's really sweet. But that's a great movie. Veronica Lake, first of all, looks gorgeous. Super beautiful. It's tragic. Her story is tragic. That's not even her real name. Like her real, she has like, her real name is really long and it sounds nothing like that. But the person that like, not discovered her, but I don't remember the story exactly, but he said her eyes were like looking into a blue lake. So that's how they got the lake part, the Veronica part. I don't know, but Veronica Lake. <laughs> But she um, has a, had a tragic life. But that movie was so good. It's in black and white. I don't think they ever color made it into color. But I'm glad about that because I don't tend to like movies that are remastered into color. Um, I just love the original feel. I'm a photographer, so black and white. I just love anything made in black and white anyway. Um, so yeah, that's my number one. I Married a Witch. So if you saw any of these movies, let me know down below what you think, if you agree, if you disagree, or what your top five witchy movies are. Do a VR to this, and then I can watch it, and we can connect over movies. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a great night.